Quarter time, Friday night football. St. Kilda lead by four points. It's 2-2 two -two to 1-4. Now, certainly the playing group's hungry. Thought there might have been a chance I could you know, get the Richo roll and, and get up on the wing. And Wayne Carey is one of my absolute heroes growing up. I don't think motivation or desire is going to be a problem. You know, that's the way it plays and it's always evolving and, and you've got to evolve with it, otherwise you get left behind. Collingwood huddle at quarter time here at Etihad Stadium. In amongst that group is Harry O'Brien. Now, Harry started fiery. He started up. I think really with something on his mind, Brad. He certainly did. He was fired up at the start of the game there, straight into Jones, which was uh, obviously a set, a set plan, without a doubt, to get, to get stuck in him tonight, especially after what he did to Brent Harvey the week before. They're certainly not going to take that from uh, Jones tonight. But I've got to say, Brad Johnson, that it's good to see taggers sort of get their comeuppance, run with players being tested. Well, that's the, that's the challenge, isn't it? You've got to get out there and, and test everyone. But the run with players, they're the ones who are trying to negate the best players in your side. So you, you've got to support those guys and try and get them into the game. And, and getting into the tag is the best way to do that. And that's going to the quarter time break. So a bit more, uh, not spite, but certainly feeling you've got to say. Luke Ball can't be seen there, but he has been seen in that opening term to good effect. Oh, he was fantastic in that first quarter. Under a fair bit of pressure this week, there's been a fair bit of talk about Luke Ball and come out at eight or nine possessions, but hard possessions too. And uh, was kicking the ball quite well I thought in that first quarter okay get the crystal ball out how many goals will win this oh, I think uh, 14 goals will win this uh, Dennis I think it'll be a tight contest I think it'll open up as the uh, as the game goes on but uh, yeah I'm gonna go with 14 goals for this one at the moment we haven't got too many the leading sides just got the two and killed by four points as we go down to Tim Watson well Dennis I'm joined by former world sprint champion Addo Bolden and uh, Addo welcome to Melbourne for a start and welcome to your first game of AFL football what are your impressions so far I am just surprised. I trained some uh, some NFL guys. These guys have to have all the skills. Punt, kick, pass. I mean, it's just amazing for me to be here. Would you have loved to have played this game? Uh, no, I don't, like, I don't like to get hit. What are you doing here in Australia? Uh, my, my old friend uh, Nova Paris um, invited me over, and we're doing some great things with the indigenous kids here, um, you know, trying to get them out on the track. And, um, and, and just in general, I think we have, you know, we have some, some really big plans of what we want to do with Australian young people in terms of track and field. More importantly, what are you doing with that Collingwood scarf on? Hey, they're one of the people.